Welcome everyone, my name is Soumya Tiwari, Assistant Professor, School of Management Studies, Uttar Pradesh, Rashtri Tandon Open University. In the series of business environment, today we will discuss topics social and cultural environment, BCom 203 as well as BBA 103N. So let's move on what we will study in this series. We will study what do you understand by social environment, cultural environment various aspects of cultural environment, social responsibility of business towards different stakeholders as well as social audit and business ethics. Let us move on. First, social environment. What do you understand by the term social environment? Social environment refers to the all the factors which affect the business in the growth of it socially. So every business does not work in vacuum, it works in society. So you need to understand the society for its growth. You need to understand that without its uh, society, uh, without the growth of the society, one business cannot prosper. So you need have, the business must have positive impact over the society. For that purpose, it needs to understand the various factors such as family, institutional, education and religion of diff or affects the business. For that purpose, grow, you need to understand different aspects for the having the competitive edge over their competitors. So, for example, if you look in 1947, if you try to set up a clothes line for jeans and top for women in that era, is it possible? Is it successful business in that era? No, of course not. Why not? Because in that era, women's perspective, women thought were different as it is now. In that era, women, uh, the society has different perspective. Women never thought they could wear jeans or top as uh, casual as they now. So in that era, their business is not successful. But now that business is successful. Similarly, if you try to set up in this era, a dhoti or pajama uh, shop, will it be as successful as it used to be in 1947? Of course not. Because in that era, people prefer dhoti. But now they are... Uh, the men's are uh, better in casuals, they like to prefer jeans and pants. So there is different perspective of the era. So the society have evolved, society have changed. So you have also to change, uh, understand the society and then set up your business and establish your business. Then only you can have uh, growth rate and you can survive and have opportunity as well as have competitive edge over your competitors. Next, if you try to set up a cuisine shop, um, some restaurant, there will be different perspective in uh, north side and different perspective in south side. In north side, people will prefer spicy foods, uh, chole bature, uh, paneer and that's, whereas in south side, people will prefer rice, dosa and chutney or the ingredient that have coconut involved in it. So there is different perspective. So people in north side have different society, they have different perspective and in south side have different perspective. Similarly, if you try to sell Paragon Chappal, it is a quite famous brand in south side because people still wear um, slippers outside and travel, whereas in north side people wear shoes for uh, meetings and uh, for traveling. Where, um, so there is di different perspective. So Paragon is still a famous brand in south side than in north side. So these society perspective you need to understand for the setup of a business. Uh, similarly, you try to sell these dhotis in the north side, it will be not sold as much it is sold in the Tamil side tel uh, or uh, Kerala side because they are people still buying it. They are still uh, have those, uh, they are comfortable with wearing dhotis. So you need to keep in mind that social uh, environment is essential for the setup of the business. Next, what do you understand by the term cultural environment? Cultural environment is nothing but the belief, behavior, values and norms that is inculcated inside an individual. You need to understand the individual personality is shaped by these factors such as values, norms, behavior and belief. These hinder the perception of an individual. So these are the traits that have been inbuilt inside them from their generation to generation. So cultural environment cannot be changed with a sudden change in the environment. It is pertaining inside the individual from 
years to years so they cannot be changed with sudden change these are the common traits that are found in a group of population that means a people in a population you find these traits are common to every people and thus they are also known as ethno population so as indians we we are indians and our traits will be common whether we live in america or japan you will find some common trait in indians so these cultural aspect cannot be taken out from the uh, individual and these sh they shape the behavior of the person uh, of an individual and personality of an individual for that purpose the cultural environment mean an environment which affect the basic behavior norms preference of the society all which have an effect on the marketing decision that means these perception these uh, preference that shape the individual have their role on the marketing decision on the decision of an individual marketing structure it consists of the norms and values which guide the way people behave in a society or in organization so these uh, traits uh, let them choose what they want so these traits are um, act as a way to guide them what their choice is and what they want from an organization so there are various elements of uh, uh, cultural environment first is language as you see language is different in different regions so you need to set up a business that prefer that advertise their product in different language otherwise it is quite difficult for you to sell your product for that purpose if you are selling in north area you need to understand hindi and then popularize your product in hindi whereas if you are selling that product in south india you need to understand malayalam telugu telugu so that you can advertise your product in those local language thus it is important for every individual for any business setup to understand the language where it tries to set up its business otherwise it will be quite difficult next is religion religion there is various uh, religion such as hinduism muslim and christian their perspective are different in north side you will see a large population of hinduism as well as christian uh, muslims where in south side you will see hinduism jainism muslims and christian so there is different proposition you need to understand their religion values and then uh, work accordingly for example if you take example of religion magdi has also taken in account that the perspective of an individuals the perspective of religion are not uh, destroyed for example it has not sell pork or beef products in india whereas magdi is quite famous for its pork and beef products in other countries moving on next is values and attitude values are important aspect because northern uh, western culture and indian cultures are different in indian culture we put more emphasis on family values we prefer family decision for buying even the simplest thing such as mobile we ask our parents we uh, have some conversation with our parent where in western culture they prefer more on uh, self decision they do not prefer uh, decision of the families they work on themselves they work uh, they are more career oriented whereas indians are also career oriented but they respect their elders more than any other countries uh, apart from korean and japanese too so these are different perspective of people that you need to understand and then form a set up uh, any business so if any international business is trying to set up it Uh, companies or business or organization in india they need to understand that family values are more important in india so they have that vision that they need to pro produce a product that are going to respect the family orientation of india next is manners and customs there are different manners for example in japan and korea you bow in respect of each other whereas in india you try to touch the feet in hinduism you try to touch the feet in respect of other whereas in foreign countries in western culture you uh, shake your hand with other so these are different customs that you need to adapt if you try to set up your business in those area for example if you are trying to set up in korea or japan you need to bow you cannot shake hand with other you can shake but you need to bow in respect otherwise they will consider it as rude so better be a generous person than be a rude person next is aesthetic aesthetic is the traditional way of uh, enjoying the custom for example in japanese uh, there are way, cultures of tea 
uh, tea ceremony so you need to respect that ceremony you need to abide by all the steps that are involved in tea ceremony you cannot stand and suddenly go out uh, outside because you are not enjoying the tea ceremony you have to respect that and you have to imbibe inside yourself also next is education there are different perspective in regard to education also such as people in urban areas prefer education at global level they want their child to have the knowledge know all uh, uh, around the environment they want children to be good at in every perspective whether education whether playing sports everything whereas on other hand if you talk about indigenous people tribal people they only try to uh, make their children aware and have some traditional skills knowledge they only try to give their uh, their uh, traditional skills imbibed inside the children from generation to generation thus they do not prefer global knowledge they do not want their children to be excellent but they want that their skills are promoted from children from generation to generation next is socio cultural environment what do you mean by socio cultural it is two words socio that means social and cultural means culture so this is together takes all in account that what is outside the environment that affect the business that means social environment it important and as well as the cultural aspect that is the individual traits behavior and perception is important so you need to understand that socio cultural is a combination of both social as well as cultural aspect so it is a set of belief custom practice and behavior that exist uh, within a population so it is a set of belief custom values that exist within a population that is in a specific area inside a population and in an every individual so international companies often include an examination of socio cultural environment prior to entering their target market so it is very important for any company before entering into the market to understand the area to understand the country perspective as well as to understand their culture and social environment then then only they will have the success rate they will flourish in as a company for example mcdi as i have already told they before setting up up in and establishing itself in india they tried to have proper thorough uh, uh, environment analysis socio cultural analysis then only they have said they respected the religion aspect of indian people and thus they tried their best not to include the beef and pork product whereas in other country apart from india the uh, beef products are common in every magdi restaurants chain so you need to understand that magdi is a uh, uh, keeping in perspective the socio cultural environment apart from magdi there is another example uh, first we will know what are the factors of socio and cultural environment attitude of people towards work that means the people prefer in norway and sweden to have leisure life they focus more having a good and comfortable right uh, life rather than having more working hours whereas in indian japanese people prefer having more working period and more work hours rather than having a leisure life so the work hours of sweden and norway people are around 5 hours whereas in india it starts from 7 to 9 hours so there is difference in the perspective of attitude of people towards the work so these factors help in challenging the socio and cultural environment family system system as we have already talked there is a different perspective in the western culture where nuclear families are more in popularized whereas in indian the uh, joint family or the relationship between the families are more towards having prosperity and they respect their elders so there is different family system and value system as well the family system is uh, indulge with the value system they are quite common the value in built in indians are different than those are in western area we respect our elders whereas we uh, take the opinion of our elders in every way so there is different in values in terms of uh, western and indian culture this caste system caste system the government is trying to remove the caste system but the caste system provide many business different uh, perspective and different opportunities so the business also tries to curtail these opportunities in a positive manner as 
they can do so religion you have already been told that religion have different aspect for example uh, different festivals have uh, one can set up different businesses in respect to that religion whereas in if you consider white white is quite good considered as a good uh, sign of peace in christianity and during their weddings they wear white whereas in hinduism at the death of the someone white is preferred so there is different thought process you need to understand and respect the and set up your business accordingly next is education in education i have already told you that people transfer their education and skills from generation to generation in indigenous peoples and tribal people whereas in urban people they want their children to uh, participate at global level so they try to inherit all the information and all the data that can they do so next is custom and tradition we have already talked about the bowing in china and japan is common whereas in indian touching the feet in hinduism whereas in western culture shaking hand is quite common urbanization different perspective urbanization and rural areas have different thought process they have different working condition and businesses can grow as a different perspective so you need to understand whether the business is in urban areas or rural area and with that perspective and environment you need to stand the business next is language the language are different in different areas so you need to understand the local language of that those area and then advertise the product in those area next is habit and preference habits and preference are different for an individual but there are some cultural traits the values and beliefs that are quite common in each individuals among a group of population so you need to understand those traits those habits and preference and then try to set up a pro, uh, business accordingly next what do you understand by the social responsibility of business social responsibility of a business refers to what the business does over and above the statutory requirement for the society for the benefit of the society it does uh, extras it does it does not do because it has to do but it does the business does the thing because it is right thing to do so it include all the factors uh, little action and steps that help in in increasing or have some positive impact on the people lives as well as on the environment as well as have some co uh, social cause for example if in local area you try to provide some charity establish a school building anything or you try to promote eco friendly product as well as you try to uh, provide some charity to the at global levels so these all the factors include social responsibility of the business these responsibility must to be fulfilled for any business to grow for example classmate copy classmate copy you have must have noticed that at the end of the classmate copy you see you have seen that it is written that 1 rupees is donated for the welfare and education of the children so as a social responsibility classmate company have donated their 1 rupees for the purchase of each product of the copy and these 1 rupees are used for the uh, betterment and for the education of children in rural area so these amount are collected and then they are uh, contributed toward their corporate social responsibility which in turn then provides them to the children in the rural areas for their education purpose so they are contributing something positive towards the society so you need to acknowledge those social cause and then work accordingly then only you can or your business can run in the long run because no business can be flourish without if you do not have some positive impact on the environment on the society on an individual life so you need to understand these responsibility and work accordingly next what are the responsibility of business towards different stakeholders for example such as shareholders or investors these are the fund provider of the business so you need to provide them proper knowledge you need to guide them you need to inform every information about the business and be as transparent as possible and provide the business profit in the form of dividend to them so it is important to have socially responsible towards your shareholder next is social responsibility of business towards employees or workers employees and workers are the resource of a business there are five resources that are important and one is that men 
so you need to understand that employees and workers are essential aspect of business for that purpose you need to provide a proper remuneration to them fair wages as well as better working condition next is consumer and customers consumer and customers are the user of the product which are being produced by the uh, business so you need to understand that you need to provide them uh, the product and supply the products uh, equally and uh, on time as well as provide a good quality of product with a reasonable price then only they will buy so you uh, have the responsibility to provide the product of good quality to the customers next is government and administrative body who regulate the commercial activities of the business so you need to understand the government aspect and provide help to them as and when needed as well as try to structure your tax and uh, provide tax return uh, as as and when needed next is local community local community people in which the business is established you need to understand the local environment and then you need to provide the local charity uh, funds to that people because these uh, local community have been affected by the business in somehow way so you need to understand them and establish schools colleges hospitals in any way and provide some help to the local community next environment business impact the environment so you need to understand the environment and save the environment as needed you need to produce you need to that check the the social cost and the social return is equal or greater than that then only your business is successful otherwise if the social cost is high then the social return you are providing then it is of no use what is the uh, use of this uh, providing the social return then when the social cost are high next is general public that means the large masses that are uh, the business is responsible to so you need to work in the welfare of the society at a large so these are various stakeholders that business should be responsible towards next social responsibility as i have already provided you an example of classmate copy at the end of every classmate copy 1 rupees is donated towards the welfare and education of children next example is icici group where the foundation have been established icici foundation which helps in the uh, inclusive growth among the low income indian in population so icici foundation was set up to improve the inclusive growth of the low indian income population low income indian population next is ongc ongc was awarded as peacock what is the name golden peacock award in 2008 for the purpose of social uh, corporate social responsibility in emerging economies 2006 held in london may so you need to understand why ongc has received oil and natural gas corporation limited was focused on promotion of vocational education healthcare and entrepreneurship community coupled with the initiative in water management and disaster relief in the country so these are the various aspect in which the ongc tried to work and if, if uplift the indian society so these for that purpose it was awarded in uh, 2008 in london the golden peacock award next is corporate social responsibility what do you understand by the term corporate social responsibility social responsibility of business is a vague term unless it is provide some structure form so you need to understand that csr refers to the structural approach that has been taken by the corporation or the business towards the society welfare of the society and the environment concern it is done for the purpose of moral responsibility of the business to the society by the virtue of being the part of the society you need to understand that it is a structure form uh, the steps are involved in csr then only it will able to uh, implement and hand have some positive impact on the environment what are the positive aspect of csr first is it help in the growth of the business long term because you are promoting have some positive impact on the environment so it will generally learn in the long run next is sincerity the people or the individual or the consumers and customers will will see the sincerity involved in the production of the 
goods uh, and the business so they will see the sincerity and thus there will be promotion of the business next is market you need to understand the role of the business towards the market it does not fluctuate the market in such a manner that it will be difficult for the country to evolve from it uh, thus it have the responsibility towards the market also next is responsibility it the business have various responsibility that it needs to follow ethically must abide by all the laws and regulation for the growth of the business next is sustainability they must grow in sustainable way keeping and protecting the environment and flourishing resources they must use all the resources in sustainable way and pro providing incentive and cons compensation to them as and required next is goal must reach the goal of the business so these are various objective of the csr that one needs to uh, done in for the prosperity of any business next is social audit it is a tool evaluating how satisfactory a company has discharged its social responsibility you need to understand that social audit is voluntary in nature first is voluntary in nature these social audits are voluntary in nature that is it is not compulsory for the business to uh, forms uh, to adapt social audit next is it is it includes it includes what csr corporate social responsibility audit is generally done to see whether the company is discharging its social responsibility or not and what where the structural approach is uh, written in the uh, business it is provided in csr of the company next is it evaluates evaluates social performance of the business so you need to understand these three points first it is voluntary in nature it includes csr corporate social responsibility and it evaluate the social performance of the business how we can find uh, how we do social audit first you need to identify the firm activities which having some social impact have some positive social impact you need to address those and uh, identify those aspect when you will identify those aspect you need to assess and evaluate the social cost and social return or social benefit of such activities you will then calculate all evaluate all the and assessment of all the social cost and social benefit that have been received by the business next is measurement of the social cost and benefit it is the point where you will evaluate whether your social cost is less than the social benefit then only your business is successful business otherwise if your social cost is more than the benefit then what is the advantage or what is the uh, positive impact on the society because you are trying to eradicate more social uh, resources then you are providing benefit to the society so you need to understand the social cost should be less than social cost should be less than social benefit provided to the company next is reporting these in presenting in a proper format and manner so the social performance of the firm can be evaluated next what do you understand by the term business ethics business ethics is all the moral principle we must abide by for the purpose of the growth of the company so it refers to application of ethics to the business and moral principle that guide the way business is to be done you need to address this ethical uh, way and you need to form the business accordingly the importance of business ethics are honesty you must honestly compile with all the laws and regulation and with transparency provide all the stakeholders 
information about the business next is avoid conflict it is essential there no such competition should be internally involved that it it increase the conflict in the environment of the business so you need to avoid over competition inside the business next is compliance all the uh, all the rules and regulations should be properly implemented and compiled in a proper manner next is relevant information should be provided uh, to the various stakeholders and law abiding all the rules and regulations should be followed and then fulfilling commitments all the commitments should be fulfilled with regard to the business that what the products are produced and the commitment that means the goal or objective of the business should be fulfilled so this is for today now we will meet in next lecture and till then goodbye